Welcome to Mock Rockets. Legos rock. And so do rockets. Okay, guys, I haven't posted uh, anything in a while. Um, and it's after Christmas here at the end of 2020, and it's been quite a wee year, right? And the first thing I just wanted to say is thanks to all of our subscribers and all of our customers uh, and all of our followers on YouTube and Twitter and, and on Rebrickable. Uh, we really appreciate all your support um, throughout the whole year. It's been uh, quite a roller coaster year. We've seen a lot of highlights in, in rockets and space, of course, with Starship development, for example, from SpaceX, uh, as well as Crew Dragon. And uh, it's been a lot of excitement, and we're really looking forward to an exciting 2021. And we have a whole bunch of new mocks, uh, like at least ideas sketched out um, for more rockets um, and other uh, 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 similar models uh, that I think you guys will find exciting. And if you have any suggestions, please send them along. Um, you can email us or uh, send us a note on Twitter or something like that. But today, I wanted to mostly focus on what a disappointing uh, Christmas it was uh, from in, in terms of SpaceX apparel. So, um, as many of you know, um, and I'm sure many of you are also like big SpaceX supporters, and now I have to clarify, I'm a big supporter of SpaceX rockets. And much less of a supporter of their merchandise on their store. So for Christmas this year, um, my wife bought me a new SpaceX hat uh, to replace an old uh, hat that I had. Um, and we did, we followed the sizing guidelines uh, and it ended up being a little big. And so I was disappointed on that, that their sizing guidelines weren't really reflective of like my head diameter. Uh, maybe they assume you have hair. I don't know, not much hair. And uh, in any case, that, that's sort of a minor thing, not a big deal. Uh, the more major thing is we bought my, my son, who's uh, seven years old, and you've, I think, probably seen him um, in, in maybe an earlier video or in a photo on Twitter. But in any case, um, he's the kind of the reason that we got so excited about SpaceX in the first place. Uh, this was back then, this was when he was three years old. He just got so excited, and that, like, what brought me back um, to my interest in rocketry. And in any case, we bought him this uh, hooded sweatshirt from the SpaceX store, and I have to say uh, it was disappointing for several reasons. The first is that just the quality of the merchandise isn't what I expected for the price. The, there's a couple of deficiencies. Most notably, uh, the zipper literally doesn't work. Um, it, it took three of us. Uh, so my son tried it first, of course, and he can do zippers on 10 of his other hooded sweatshirts or whatever that he has and all of his coats, um, but he couldn't do this one. So then my wife tried um, and she gave up and she actually hurt her hand on these like super, super hard, I'll, I'll post a, I'll do a zoom in photo. There's uh, these like little plastic panels here and they're super hard and they're super sharp. So be careful, you can cut yourself. The second thing um, with the zipper is that it just doesn't work. Uh, it's very, very hard to go up and down. It gets caught constantly. I mean, the, the quality here is not what you expect for the price and for a company like SpaceX that literally lands rockets, how they can mess up a, a sweatshirt uh, is, is a little beyond me. So um, really disappointing. I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a great design. It has the SpaceX logo on the back like this. Also has it on the front. So all of that's fine. The fit is fine, um, but it's, it's not really a zip up. I, it technically has a zipper, but now that like the three of us finally got it zipped, we told my son, don't unzip it, just use it as like a hoodie that you pull over your head, um, because I don't know if we'll ever be able to get it zipped again. Now, my wife fortunately is really good with the sewing machine, so she's already thought about how to rip the zipper out with her seam ripper and sew a new one in. But I mean, come on. It's a brand new sweater. We shouldn't have to be thinking of this stuff um, here in 2020 when every other sweater and sweatshirt that my son owns has a zipper that works just fine. And from a company that literally figured out how to land rockets from space, I mean, come on, we expect better. Uh, so uh, disappointing merchandise here from SpaceX uh, this year. The hat that was sized a little too large and the like non-functional
functional for the sweatshirt. Pretty disappointing. Um, and I just wanted to tell you guys so that you're aware. Um, and we did contact SpaceX, uh, the customer support, and said, you know, what we told them about these problems with the really sharp edge that, that cut that cut us and the zipper that's non-functional. And they don't do exchanges. Um, and they did offer to let us return it, but then they're going to charge us more money, which is, I mean, ridiculous. We already paid the money for the product. They should be supporting it. Or, you know, perhaps they could, um, you know, create a quality product in the first place and have a little quality control. Um, those are some of the thoughts that we had. Uh, in any case, for now, um, it's just not a zip-up hoodie. It's like a, one that you pull over your head um, until my wife replaces the zipper. And we'll let you know how that goes. But hey, anyway, it's SpaceX, a great rocket company. And I'm looking forward to all of their exciting milestones uh, in 2021. And uh, yeah, Happy New Year.